everybody this is Angela from A Cat Among Books and today I have a combination video of the books I read in July because I haven't I didn't read that many last month and my end of July book haul so let's get started now I don't know if I mentioned but I think in the last video I had a bunch of Ellen Hopkins books. Well, I started reading her books and I really, really enjoy them. So, the first two of hers that I read were Burned and its sequel, Smoke. I really, really liked those stories. I like how it's all told in verse. So, it's really, and being that they're close to 500 pages or more, they're so easy to get through. And that is another enjoyable thing about reading these. But the stories and the characters that she brings to life, they're so real with really hard-hitting topics. Alcoholism, abuse, um family, and other issues. Sexuality is another issue. The next book I have to show you, actually it took me quite a while to get into this book and I actually just finished it um, a couple weeks ago. On my, my husband and I went on our anniversary trip to Mackinac. So, and I started this book back in February of this year. And then it is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. And I do have, I got it autographed when I saw her probably a couple years or more ago at the Schuler's in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So, the reason it took me so long to read this book is I really... I shouldn't say I was extremely, I was very disinterested in it, but it took me a while to get into the plot, the story, the characters weren't really driving me to keep going. So I pick it up, put it down, read something else, and I continued to do that. Till finally, like, you know what? <clears throat> and I have the second, third, and I pre ordered the fourth book, along with her new book, A Court of Thrones and Roses. But once it got started, toward the last quarter of the book, the story really picked up. I really enjoyed the humor. Uh, Selena, I enjoyed her character. She's fierce and funny. And Dorian, honestly, I'd have to say that Dorian is my favorite. I don't know how you say the other guy's name. Kaol? I'm not sure how you say it. But he was just okay for me, but the humor was what, what really started getting me into it and then the action and the build up towards the end of the book really kept me riveted. I am currently reading the sequel of this book, The Crown of... Is it the Crown of Midnight? I think, I don't have it on me right now, but I think that's it. But anyway, the last two books I read for the month of July are also two Ellen Hopkins books, and they are also sequels. Impulse, which deals with three characters. We have Tony and Connor and Vanessa, who both attempted, who all three of them had attempted suicide. And this is them meeting in a psychiatric hospital and the friendships that they form and how they help each other through their grief and to overcome overall what's happened to them and be able to move forward. Um, shocking ending. I can't say I wasn't expecting it, but it was building up to it, so I wasn't completely surprised. Um, the sequel, Perfect, follows Connor's twin sister and his family and also a few other, like, three other people. Um, Kendra, Sean, Andre, and Kara. So this was a good book. This actually, you'd think in a way it, it is, in truth, a sequel, but it runs along the same timeline as Impulse. So where Impulse ended, 
this book also ends right around the same time period. But it was interesting to see a whole new slew of characters and the how, just how far that they would go to be able to reach perfection in their own eyes and in the eyes of everyone else and how they view them. So that was a real eye-opener for me is to see the pressure <clears throat> that is put on kids to strive for perfection with perfect grades, looks, and I just, I don't even know how I'd be able to handle that kind of pressure. There'd be no way that I would be able to do I can understand, I don't say that I, um, I don't think doing drugs is a good thing, definitely not, but the fact that these kids take this stuff to, or or do what they do to cope with the, the pressures of being a teenager and everything that is expected of them. It's like, you know, you should be allowed to be able to be yourself without feeling that pressure. I mean, you have the rest of your adult life. Basically, all you're going to be doing for the rest of your life is either getting married, starting a family, having a job, and then that all the way up until retirement. That's if you can retire. It's like your childhood, your teenage years should seriously be well as long as the, as well as the rest of your life, but those should be your some of the best years of your life. I mean, I'm not trying to be a, a downer because I am an adult, but that's just that's really sad. All that that wasted life having to be pressured like that. Okay, anyway, enough of that sordid sad topic. Now I'm going to show you the three books I got towards the very end of July. They are all by the same author. They are a trilogy. Um, I am going to say I actually bought the first two books once before I got rid of them because I couldn't, I wasn't getting into them or I didn't even want to read them. And then just because the third one came out and they're all released in paperback, but I figured they're cheap, why not? I like angel stories. So, we have by Susan, I'm guessing her name is E. Susan E. <laughs> angel Fall. World After. And the very last one that came out, End of Days. Okay, so that is it with my book haul and my books that I read for the month of July. <clears throat> um, I do want to take a second and let all of my subscribers know that I appreciate each and every single one of you. The fact that you even subscribe and you actually watch my videos is thanks enough that I really appreciate that someone has an interest in watching them. Um, the sad thing is though is my heart hasn't hugely been in it lately probably even for a while now. Um, I am starting a new channel because, you know, I have other interests other than books. You know, movies and just life in general. And that is what I really want to focus on. I don't mean that I'm going to forget about books forever because I'm always going to be reading. But... My new channel is going to be called Miracle Angel Baby 82. And the reason that I chose that channel name is because I was born a miracle baby. I was born premature. I weighed a pound and six ounces. This is me basically getting personal with you. And that is why I chose that for that originality alone. Um Basically, my main focus of my new channel is going to be, um, my main focus of many focuses. Weight loss, I'm currently trying to lose weight again. I actually did succeed in losing weight from 2010 to 2012. I went from 180 pounds to 125, but then slowly... In the summer of 2013, I started slowly putting that weight on again. I wasn't walking like I used to. I used to walk five times a week, an hour and a half. I was weighing myself. 
I was writing everything down that I was eating. I'm still weighing myself, I'm still writing stuff down. But the exercise is key. And I would like, if you want to, I'm going to be doing videos of my weight loss as I go you know, the exercises, and I think that by doing that, I think that's going to motivate me even more. So if there's anyone out there who is struggling like I am, if you want to watch just maybe for the encouragement, for yourself, inspiration, by all means, definitely check them out. Um, my memoir, I am working on my life story even though I'm only 33 but I'm working on my memoir I have always wanted to write it even since I was a child because I know that I have went through a lot growing up and I want to share that with the world because I think that there are other people out there who would be able to either relate to that or be inspired by it um also my my life now little little things um just you know what's going on and everything um my cat Quinn, I acquired her two years ago, and I think she is, we have no children, she is our baby. So just little videos here and there of how she's doing. I am going to do a cute little video of either pictures or little videos that I've taken of her from the time she was brought home to now. Um, also movies, my favorite childhood movies, movies that I see in the theater, TV shows that I'm interested in, so if you watch The Walking Dead or Downton Abbey, Call the Midwife, Switched at Birth, which is coming back on this August, so I will be doing that as well. And also books occasionally, if I, if I read, I'm not going to be doing, I might do a book haul here and there because I do have books coming to me in August, September, October, but as far as the books that I read, each month. If I have a few special ones that mean a lot to me, I will make a video about them and tell you what I think. Alright, so that is the gist of everything. If you've watched this video towards the end, thank you very much. Once again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. That means so much to me. It really does. And all of you, even though I don't know you, you all mean a lot to me just by existing. So, <laughs> with that being said, everybody have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. It's hump day after all, two more days until the weekend, and then, well, whatever you're doing for the weekend, have a great time and be safe. Okay, thank you.